Yo, what's poppin' boys? Welcome to another video. As you guys can tell behind me, I have an academy, which this is actually the first academy video I'm, I'm actually ever filming. I got the two boys. The two right here, Wait, baby. Wait, you've never been to academy to film a video before? I, dude, they have never seen a video out of academy. Dang. Is that not crazy? This is gonna be a special day. Oh yeah, it's gonna be killer. So I got my boy Norm, my boy Lojo, and uh, if you guys wanna check out their channels, description box below. Got the River Steward over there. Yeah. Go check out his channel. I'll leave all of them in the description box below. But also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and also comment below if you guys have been enjoying the content. But without further ado, we have a little surprise for you. Let's go ahead and walk in Academy and see what we're gonna buy. Lojo, what do you think he has in store for you, man? Honestly, I don't know. You know, Noah's the type of guy that uh, sometimes we go on these filming adventures and me and Norm really don't even know what we're gonna be doing. So if I had to guess, he's probably looking for maybe a certain item or a piece of fishing equipment that we've never used before in a video. I mean, I don't know. I'm excited though. I'm Jack because he's never filmed an academy before. This place is huge. It's loaded with stuff. It's gonna be pretty cool. So everybody, my main goal today is possibly get a fishing kit. You know, I haven't been in the academy much. I don't really even know if they have fishing kits. You know, we're gonna look around, see what they have. But Norm, come here, buddy. Come here, old friend, old pal. Come here, buddy. What's up? Come yes, here, sir. Oh, Normie. Um, so. What's up, buddy? How you, <laughs> how you doing? I'm good? Yeah. yeah, I'm good, man. You got it? Just give me a second, bro. All right. So anyways, Norm, if you had anything to pick out of this place, the like craziest lures, I'm kind of curious because I might buy some crazy lures today too. So show yeah. like the old kick in the best TV fam, like three crazy lures that you've seen in an academy because I know you've walked around a little bit yeah. before in an academy. Yeah. Go ahead and give them So a I got an academy like 10 minutes away from my house and I actually just saw this one for the first time today. Oh, here it is. Dude, look at this freaking frog, man. White frog, but instead of it having like hooks on the top like a hollow body, it's got trouble hooks on the bottom. That isn't the craziest frog lure you've seen. I think it's like two bucks too. What? Oh, never mind. It's seven dollars. I lied. Well, here's something that's crazy, man. These darn chatterbaits right here are fifteen ninety nine. That the is jack the, that is Noah's favorite lure is the chatterbait too. For the jackhammer, man. Talking trash about the chatterbait, man. No, no, you better you just don't start fishing with the expensive ones, man, because I'm worried about well, dude, you, know, you spend too much problem. money on these things. Like I can't use the expensive ones like that because yeah, I break them. off a lot. Yeah, you know, like I use a chatterbait almost every single day. These ones are only four twenty nine right fish. here. And that's fourteen dollars and they do basically. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like that one I'm fine with. I mean yeah. that's a this design and everything, and this is actually tungsten as well, it's killer. It's just oh. like for my sake, bro. Yeah, that's why it's that much. My yeah. sake, dude, I'm breaking off so many. I give you some, I give him, some, you know what I mean? We're always like, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I can't be tossing around twenty dollar bills every, every second. So I've been sent on a mission to find something crazy for Noah. I don't know what the heck he's thinking about what he's gonna do, but I mean these are pretty doggone crazy. What is this? Swimming chunk, chartreuse color. I, I don't think that's crazy enough though. You know what's crazy, bro? I just remembered this. They got baby lemon pepper lizards. The OG subscribers of my channel and Kicking Their Bass TV's channel know what the lemon pepper lizard is but look at that they're little babies the little baby lemon pepper lizard man that's crazy i hope he's doing something where he's like buying these because i actually want to try these things out i think noah should get this right here what do you think about this there noah think you can fish off of this thing and stay on it you know that's a question for the viewers brother it's like styrofoam i think i could fish off of this what's the weight limit on this no, that's blowing up bro. yeah no. let me know in the comment section below if you guys would actually want to see a fishing challenge on that we could pile like two or three of us on there dude we filmed oh there's no way we took three of us on there no, don't even honestly know. we probably could have no. just be hilarious no, not the three of us we'd have to like glue our tackle box to the top yeah, so, yeah. It so like i said earlier the main purpose of this video was to like see if they have any fishing kits like i said i don't come to a cat me a lot i don't have one near me but this one right here is a little like salt water kit but i haven't really found much like i've been walking these aisles for a hot minute i believe these boys have too and we just do not seem to find any fishing kits whatsoever so i'm gonna i'm gonna give it one more walk through see what we got and maybe we'll run into the gold if they actually have something well i see uh tackle boxes we can make our own fishing kit which i've done before i'll link it below but i don't see anything guys this is a little this is a difficult one for me right now I mean, they have like this freaking buzz bait. Like, it's nothing special. Boys, have you seen any like fishing kits? No, I have not seen one, honestly. Like, I, I haven't. I don't even think Academy carries them, to be honest with you. Like, I haven't seen any at all. I've walked the aisles like five times, man. It's just. We, I mean, we've got some fishing kits in the past. Between the three of us, we've probably filmed like six, seven fishing kit videos, but they're all from Walmart, right? I did, I did one at uh, Dixon, one at Academy. You did? Yeah. So they did. You did one at Academy. Like, what kind of fishing kit? 
I can't even remember to be honest, man. I remember it was saucy, whatever it was, but. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen a fishing kit anywhere. I can't remember, man. Oh, man, here they are, right here. Hold up. You found one? I got two of them. Oh, there's a lizard kit. Oh my gosh. Show them that. That's a lizard kit and a worm kit. Oh man. boy, let's get them both. Hold hold on up, both of you guys. This so there's two, are they the same? No, oh, they're different. The worm kit right here. Oh dude, that's killer. Look there's that not color. there's not much of a combination. I mean, there's only two, but I mean, oh lizards. dude, lemon pepper. Oh. <laughs> lemon pepper. Oh, there's no lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Oh, they got, lizards, they got, look, and you even got your bullet weights, you got your hooks, you got all the terminal tackle you need. And what the heck creature is that? You see this alien right here? Man, that's, that's a weird looking dude right there, that's I have to the, say. This has got many sharks. Look at the fins on that thing. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I think this one has to be the, the deciding choice. All right, hold them up next to each other. Let's yeah. look at them. Let's get a little peep. I don't know. I think this one's going to be better, man. I you, you know why? So why would you pick this one, Norm? I don't know. I'm liking, I, I feel confident with like worms and stuff like that. And those Cinco's, those colors, they're going to do it. I have never fished with this brand of lizards before and lizards are weird man i mean those look kind of yeah. skinny and got aliens in here yeah it could little, be cool though it's a little weird i, I, think it's I don't know you, man. so this is the thing the reason why i'd pick this yes sankos we can catch fish on 100 percent got some centipedes got some baby flukes but the lemon pepper you bro have to bro mm, the lemon pepper to. True. Just for old just, days. Just for the old days, man. We gotta go with the lemon pepper. So I think this is the fishing kit that we're gonna roll with today. Blaze hey. fishing gear. I've never it's shout uh, out to Blaze. I don't know. I've never seen this before. First time I've seen it. I guess we're gonna see. Yeah, yeah, we'll send you an invoice. <laughs> so um let's see the price of it first of all. Holy cat dude, that's only five bucks. That's probably what? the that's, that's probably the cheapest dude, dude that's, that's the cheapest fishing kit. The yeah. ones at Walmart are like ten. Yeah. Even the cheapest ones like ten bucks. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. Crazy. That's probably the cheapest fishing kit that I've ever seen. All right, Andrew, we getting it, bro? Yeah, bro. We getting that one? Get it. Oh yeah, we getting it. That's the one we're going with. Five dollars, cheapest one I've ever seen. Dude, cheapest Wait, one I've ever seen. That's what I'm saying. We got to do it, right? It looks pretty cool. Those got some worm colors. Senkos catch fish. The small worms will catch fish. That fluke. I know you're you're a fluke guy, aren't you? Oh yeah, you dude. Like flukes. So you've set with that thing. Oh, I'm good. Son of a biscuit, man. Hold on. Just let Norm buy it. It's five bucks. That's five dollars. Figure it out. Yeah, that's fine. If it was something more, then yeah. Let's uh, round of applause for Norm in the comment section below. Hit the like button. Subscribe button. Wait, it's always one of us. It's either me or it's you. I never forget his. I usually don't work. I never forget my one. Anybody else want anything while we're still here? Thank you. I appreciate it. You have a good one. Yep. Bye. All right, boys. This is it right here, boys. We got the fishing kit. Sexiest one I've ever seen. Where are my sunglasses? I got the old $5 fishing kit. I had to put the sunglasses on because I know I gotta be too cool for school, man. So, anyways, but I am in school. So, we got the $5 fishing kit. This is definitely. I thought it was, a, thought worm. It was a worm. I thought it was a worm. Anyways, this is definitely the <laughs> che <laughs> cheapest fishing kit I've ever seen in my life. We just picked it up at Academy. Let me know if you guys wanna see some more Academy videos in the comment section below because I'd love to do it. Of course, subscribe to me and the boys. Well, let's go ahead and go fishing with this dang thing. So we have just made it out to our first beautiful pond that we're gonna be testing out this old kit that we bought. So let's do like a little rundown before we hop into this. We got some red Sankos, we got some like green pumpkin Sankos, black smaller Sankos. I don't know what the heck that is. Two centipedes, some lemon pepper drop shot worms, boys lemon pepper and then some like fluke looking things so we're gonna try to catch a fish on just about every single one of these if we don't catch one on every single one that's okay but that's our main goal today so let's go ahead and open this thing up i think we're gonna go down the line so we're gonna start off with the sanko then this sanko then this. so we're gonna go just like that so let's go ahead and put this guy on our rod oh yeah before we even get that started let me show you the rig that i'm using for these sankos so i just put a regular like three aught or this might be four aught EWG hook on here. We're gonna be running it weightless. This pond has a lot of grass and we're gonna let that worm just float right over it or slow sink and that fish will usually grab it before it hits the bottom. So let's go ahead and put this on and give it a try. All right, let's open, that was like the worst voice crack ever. But let's open this uh, Blaze fishing gear, fishing, fishing gear, fishing kit. I can't talk today. There's not much in here, but there is a variety. I'll give it that. And I like variety because I like to try new things. And I guess I can say I've never thrown a Senko that's like orangish red like this in my life. And look at this. Oh my gosh, it matches the rod. Are you kidding me? They were made for each other, man. It's been such a long time since I've thrown a weightless Senko. Let me tell you. 
but this is one of the easiest ways to catch fish so if you guys are just getting into bass fishing or if you're you know you've been bass fishing for a while but you're having a struggle um, with catching fish pick this bad boy up i promise you to catch him just like a weightless sanko i haven't been to this pond in like probably a year to be fair with you um, I know there's some decent fish in here. So we're gonna give it a shot, but let's test our drag. Okay, that's about okay. Well, we've walked this pond once, maybe one and a half times. We've been fishing for about 30 minutes. I have yet to even have a nibble, which is not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. It could be the color. It could be that the fishing is tough. But one thing I know is it's time to upgrade to where I really think these fish are gonna be. And that's gonna be in some shade lines. And this is a tight little corner. Oh man, there should be a fish here. We're gonna switch over to more of a natural color, which is this green pumpkin Sanko right here. It's got like a little bit of gold sparkles. This is perfect, man, to be honest with you. Well, we're at a new place. The uh, last one did not treat us well. I, this hurricane has definitely messed up the fishing. I didn't think it was gonna be too bad. From the looks of the other pond, it's not looking too hot. I fished for like an hour and a half and had one bite on a weightless Senko that was a dink. Yeah, that's not the best. Oh my gosh, I just pulled it out of his mouth. Why? Dang, man. Dang, dang, dang. It's right on that grass edge right there. I'll let it sit. He's got it. Oh my gosh, it was a big one. Oh my God, it's a big one. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, there's no way. There's no freaking way. There's no freaking way. That is a that is a four pound head and like a three pound body. I've never caught one this big out of here. That, is, that could have been a four pounder easy. Look at the head on that sucker. Oh man. <laughs> Let's go, first fish today. I was really not expecting that. I was expecting a dink. I was not expecting a good one. Oh man, if you were fatter, buddy. Oh man, if you were fatter. Oh, look at that. He could be a four pounder easily. Easy, easy, easy. I wish he was more healthy. Look at that. That's a slobber right there, boys. That is over three pounds. Oh baby. That is awesome, man. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting to, to get bit and then lose them and then throw back in there and catch like almost a four pounder or one that should be a four pounder. What a beautiful fish. Dude, let's go hit that like button for that one. First fish today, it's been a grind. Come to a new area and hook a solid one like that. Man, that's how you're supposed to do it right there. I guess we can say the basic Sanko which is the green pumpkin one is out of the picture. Right here, a bunch of grass comes off about 10 foot and he was sitting right there on the edge of that grass line. You know what I can do? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be cool. Let's do this real quick, hold on. Look at what I just rigged up. Oh my gosh, so out of the materials in the Academy's cheapest fishing kit, I just rigged up a drop shot. So there was a small bullet weight in there and I tied it for the weight of the drop shot. There's actually already a drop shot hook in here for whatever reason. And I put the green pumpkin centipede on there. And I got about, eh, I'd say a 10 inch leader. And that is looking perfect. This is gonna be awesome to fish on the grass edge. I cannot believe I just rigged that up. That is awesome. The cheapest little fishing kit. Who knew you could even rig up a drop shot. Should be one right here. There he is. Oh no, 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 no. All right, this is what happened last time with the big one though. He hit it once, he just never had it. Oh, yes, yes. He's walking with it. Yes, come on, yes! Let's go, let's go. We just drop shotted him from a freaking cheapest tackle kit. You wanna go ahead and get in the water? You can. Oh man, that was sweet. That was sweet. We did it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get the juicy lemon pepper worm and we're gonna put it here on this drop shot because we can get two in one stone on this thing. I got one already. 
Oh, he came off. That felt like a good one. Forgot to show you guys what I'm throwing. I put the lemon pepper on. First cast right there, just had one slam it. Let's go back in there. I kind of pinned him. I don't know if he's on bite again, but they might love this lemon pepper. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Right there on the drop shot. Lemon pepper, baby. We're gonna keep throwing this thing. Look at that. That's a baby. Such a baby. Look at that. Small guy. There he is. Gosh. That is crazy. Oh, little dinky dinky dinkers. I guess we can say the fishing is super tough after it hurts.